So Stacia is stabbing holes in the bottom of plastic containers so we can use them. I think we're going to try and transplant some tomatoes into them. We have, uh, we have some bananas and apples over there and cookies. But here, we need to transplant these tomatoes today. And I'm hearing that the more you transplant them, the better. So we're probably going to go into these, these things Stacia's making and then into a, um, we have five gallon buckets, but I don't think we want to go from those tiny pods to a five gallon bucket. I think the roots are stronger if we take it in steps. And I think we're going to plant carrots in this container. Here are the squash and sunflowers we planted a week or two ago. They're all reaching for the sun, but when we get some lights on them, they do much better. And we're going to transplant some cabbage and onions. Today, I don't think the eggplants are ready, but we need to get all this stuff. We're going to plant in toilet paper holders and cardboard boxes. And do you remember what we're going to try and plant today? Um, tomatoes and carrots? No, I mean in the seeds, the little seeds. I think we were thinking broccoli and beets. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what else. But we have a lot of things to plant. <laughs> Is it getting full? Yeah. What are we going to put in that one? Cabbage. Cabbage. Okay. And we got about half of the carrots in here. I don't know. So we repotted all the tomatoes into these little things, and we'll transplant them again in a few weeks. And we have cabbage and carrots here, and carrots there, and carrots there, and some onions here, and stachias. Oh, found another, what, tomato? Yeah. So, we're hoping that we can keep the little grow light going in here, and these down below will get a little bit of light, the carrots and onions. And then we've got um, all our little pots of tomatoes there, some of them in the window ledge where they get a few hours of southern sun. And this is the little mint that now has two sprouts in it, but I don't have much room to put it in here. By the time you put them on the third and fourth shelf, I don't think they're getting any light from that grow light. Maybe if the weather stays up in the upper 40s next week, we can move this little greenhouse outside onto the deck and maybe it'll get enough light and heat. Now this is the table garden and it's the ones I worry about the most but they were big enough to transplant so I'm hoping if I bring the grow light over for maybe five hours a day and they get some sunlight from that window that they'll do okay until June we'll see and we planted over here the peppers are in oh we planted in don't know if you can see we planted in toilet paper rolls and then put them in an apple box and covered them with plastic. And this is an old pie box that we just kind of scattered some in. So we'll see how they all do. Well, I walked across here and noticed that even it's slushy, but it's melting there in the middle of the yard. So I came to check out the strawberry bed, which goes kind of right in here where all the big rocks are. And I was thrilled to see that underneath all these leaves we have little strawberries. I think they made it. You are taking a pickaxe to my grass. <laughs> oh, nice. Just make sure you don't start digging into the grass. Liberating nature. Oh my word. <laughs>
I just think if we were true Alaskans, we would just let it melt. <laughs> well, I remember the house in Teklanika. <laughs> when we had a lot of issues with water. And the basement, didn't we? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, wasn't good. Okay, but it's still fun to tease you. <laughs>